hands on deck or controllers. The Navy aircraft carrier USS John C. Stennis pulled into port in San Diego as its crew received free copies of the record-setting Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. The world's largest video game publisher, Activision Blizzard, through its Call of Duty endowment, recently provided $180,000 worth of copies of the blockbuster hit Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 to the U.S. Navy to mark the release of its first new downloadable content pack called the Stimulus Pack. Actor Rob Corddry joined the celebration aboard the USS Stennis to meet with sailors and challenge them in some head-to-head -head video game competition. I'm here with the Call of Duty Endowment, giving away thousands of copies of Modern Warfare 2, uh, $180,000 worth of, of games uh, to the Navy, and it's quite an honor. Veterans, by some accounts, endure a jobless rate that is nearly twice the national average. In fact, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, today there are more than one million veterans who cannot find jobs. Code, the Call of Duty Endowment, created by Activision, is a nonprofit public benefit corporation which helps soldiers transition to civilian careers after their military service. It's my honor as a retired admiral to be here today because today not only are we honoring the men and women who serve, but we're also honoring the men and women who have served. We're here also to give a check to Veterans Village of San Diego, and this is an, this is an incredible bunch of people that are helping provide services to our homeless veterans here in San Diego. Not only is it important just to raise awareness about this, the issue of unemployment uh, with veterans, but it's also really cool to just bring a game to them and let them have some fun, you know, after spending so much time serving their country. And they, they really deserve it. I'm, I'm so glad I could be a part of it. With millions of copies sold, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is one of the most successful video games in history.